Is that gonna mess you up, bud? Yeah, I thought I'd mess up. Here's the thing, you got spotlights right there, man. Turn that flash off. It's, it's not on. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do this so my hair doesn't blow. Are we good? You're, 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 you're current. <clears throat> Alright, this is... Uh, Drug History, episode one. Anna and Andrew tell a story about Christopher Columbus. So, tonight is Saturday, two days eve of Columbus Day, which is a holiday for the bank and other financial institutions and governmental institutions. And we celebrate it as Columbus Day. A lot of people credit Christopher Columbus for discovering America in 1492. Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue or whatever derivative of your culture says it like that, right? We know him as this great explorer, but tonight <laughs> we are going to tell you the true story of Christopher Columbus. You only got two minutes till we get home. So. <clears throat> Christopher Columbus is born Italian. I think sure. Portuguese, but whatever. One of those two. And <clears throat> he wants to go on this exploration to find a new land and find some treasure and bounty along the way. <clears throat> some booty. Some booty? Pirate's booty. <clears throat> and uh, Italy says, no, no. So he goes to Spain and asks King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, may I go on this voyage? And they say, yes. We will bless you. Here is this amount of money in ships. And so he sails with the Nina, chips? the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Oh, that's why they call them Pirates Booty. They're and chips. he lands in modern-day Bahamas. <laughs> and he's like, this, this is awesome, right? But what they don't teach you in American history books is that he did a little raping and pillaging, you know, which is a, a term thrown around way too much. But he also did a little slaving. He was a little bit of a slaver, not a good guy. He enslaved some people and moved his way up the coast and... He did multiple trips back and forth, and he eventually landed in what is now the modern-day United States, which already had like more than a million Native Americans living there, so he didn't really find it. But, but you digress. But why digress? The only reason we were able to establish colonies there is because the plague had wiped out like 90% of the population. I mean, the Vikings had come okay. 100 years earlier and tried to, to take in, but the, the Indians were really, really strong, the Native Americans. But the plague came and wiped them out, and they weren't able to fight off Europeans. Like I feel like we've had some scope creep. So, uh, so anyway, we're back. We're back to <clears throat> we're back to the story. So Christopher Columbus, he's a slaver. He's not a good dude. Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand find out about it, and they're like, "You're a bad dude. We're going to exile you." So Nelson Mandela style, they sent him to an island, and he dies there of syphilis. He and dies of what? Syphilis. Syphilis. And not too long later, uh, Queen Isabella with syphilis dies also and guess who never had syphilis king, king ferdinand ferdinand and that is uh christopher columbus ladies and gentlemen so as, it, to, as, as told tonight on episode of drunk history episode version one one wonderful drunk well uh, let me ask just one follow-up question Please. here uh what are we celebrating uh tomorrow in your opinion well, tomorrow is sunday monday is columbus day tomorrow is the day of the lord right that's what okay. we're celebrating great yeah day three of acl part two yeah. Fade. And scene. Scene. Black. <laughs>